Hi, I'm Jim Hendricks. I'm here at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show, and I'm aboard a Jupiter 34 powered by a pair of Cox Diesel 300 horsepower outboards. So I'm here with Chuck Gould, who is with Ring Power, distributor for Cox Diesel Outboards. And Chuck, you know, I've tested these outboards before. I'm very impressed. They have tons of torque, tons of performance, and you know what? If you're used to the noise and smoke and smell of diesel engines, you're not going to get any of it. I found these engines to be extremely quiet. So tell us a little bit how you put these engines together, how you engineered them, and what some of the features and benefits are. These engines were designed from the ground up for this application to be this purpose. Um, from a blank sheet of paper, it is a 4.4 V8 diesel engine, twin turbo. It has 503 foot-pounds of torque at the crankshaft. It has 736 foot-pounds of torque at the prop. It's 300 horsepower. It is raw water cooled, and basically that is our concept. So when we talk about horsepower, you know, sometimes horsepower versus horsepower really doesn't, they, it's not really apples to apples. We really need to talk about torque, especially when we're talking about diesel outboards. Tell me a little bit about why torque is important and how these engines produce so much of it. So the main thing about our torque and is what it gives you right out of the hole. It is a very fast hole shot. The diesel engine's torque curve is very fast once the engine ramps up compared to a gasoline engine. So you get it pretty much immediately. These engines will take you forward. Very fast hole shot. Yeah, uh, that's what I found in my testing. I thought they were, it was incredible hole shot. They spin a big prop, just like you know uh, inboard diesels, they can spin a big prop and they can really push that boat forward. But they're also fuel efficient. Tell me a little bit about the fuel efficiency and range you can expect from these outboards. Yeah, so we offer 30% more fuel economy than a, a comparable 300, power, 300 horsepower gas motor. 30%? Uh, 30%, and that's a conservative number. That's uh, depending on how you run your boat, where you want to cruise it at, it could be a little more. Um, and, and vary a little bit. Well, that can make a huge difference, especially if you're cruising over to the Bahamas. You, you know, you may not have to refuel when you get over there. You can cruise the Bahamas and back without refueling. Absolutely, this boat here, you could take it to Nassau and back and have 60 miles to spare. And plenty of performance in the meantime. Absolutely. Chuck, tell me a little bit about how the Jupiter 34 optimizes the performance of the twin Cox diesel outboards. Our package is perfect for Jupiter's Posi Stern hull pad design. And what that really is, it optimizes the performance and the lift of the boat. And between our torque and their design, what you get is greater maneuverability, optimum speed, optimum fuel economy, all the benefits of those. What's interesting, I've seen these engines with the hood off, which they look remarkably similar to a gasoline outboard. In other words, I've seen other diesels that are horizontally mounted. This one is mounted vertically, just as you would expect to see in an outboard engine. Tell me a little bit about what the thought process that went behind that. Yeah, so the original concept was to make it as understandable as, a, as an outboard, a traditional gas outboard. So our, our engine is vertical. It was designed that way to be this way. You know, straight down into the gearbox. Anyone who works on an outboard would easily understand what to do here if you needed to do something with the lower end or your normal maintenance. We're raw water cool. There's no cooling system that you need to maintain. No closed cooling system. No closed loop system. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Yeah, outstanding. Just like an outboard that you would find on any other boat. That's right. Yes, outstanding. What's really great is our serviceability, right? And we're at a 250 hour maintenance cycle compared to a hundred hours and the gasoline. So 250 hours, that's when you change the oil, the filters and all of that, lower unit oil, all that kind of stuff. So if you were to put a thousand hours a year on your boat, you would pull it out and do maintenance four times compared to 10 times with a gas boat. Nice. Tell me a little bit about the steering system on these engines. I see that they have electric steering systems. Uh, how, does that, how does that work and how does it help the handling on these engines? Sure, well we're partnered with the Medic and uh, we do offer the electric steering cylinders as well. They're very um, easy to install, very simple. Uh, we do have uh, other options as well, but they are our main partner. It's what we validate with. Plenty of power to move the engines. Uh, the engines are not much heavier than a gas engine. It's only 300 pounds to the equivalent 
300 and there's no problem at all with the steering. Yeah, I, I can attest to that. I've been on boats powered by these motors and it's fingertip control. You can steer yeah. with just one finger, uh, lock to lock. It's, it, it, they're marvelous. They're quiet, there's no smoke. I don't know what there's not to like about these motors. What's also amazing is when you put it into a turn, you know, how you have a traditional uh, RPM leaking down on a gas motor. These guys keep chugging along. You don't ever lose RPM. Chuck, thanks so much for explaining the features and the benefits of the Cox Marine diesel outboards. I've been on them, I like them. You, obviously, people need to check them out. Where can they go to find out more information? They could go to coxmarineoutboard.com.